Hi, it's Angie. I hope everyone's well. It's Saturday here, the 23rd of July, and I'm coming on to show you some um, uh, jelly print papers that I made last week for an up-and-coming project and tell you about an up-and-coming project that I'm going to have a go at. It's completely out of my comfort zone, um, so it'll be really interesting. And it's one I've been wanting to do for a while. And I'm actually going away to my son's next week to house sit and animal sit. So I've got a couple of crates of crafty bits that I've packed. And this is the project that I'm taking. So I'm going to be making some um, faith cards. Um, sort of positive affirmation cards. Or I'm going to have a go at it. Um, as I say, it's totally out of my comfort zone because I'm not religious in the slightest. Um, but I am really looking forward to doing these. So I wanted to collect a few supplies together, but I, I didn't want to spend like loads. But I did want to get a few bits and pieces. And you know what? I think faith and religious crafting stuff is actually a gap in the market because it was really hard to find things. Um, and I actually found more things on AliExpress than I did really in the UK but I'll show you what I've got and not everything I'll be able to use but most of it I'll be able to use so I've got this stamp set this was I say really inexpensive um so you've got I'm trying to not get the glare so there's come near to God he will come near to you amen God is within her she will not fall and there's like a, an angel there Jesus is my saviour, rejoice, God is good, glory to God, set free, love, hope. So as I say, I might not use them all. Um, I'm not going to do like really overly religious cards because I I don't think that's what my friend wants. But as I say, I'm doing them for my friend so she can do some food, she can sell them for fundraising so i wanted just more sort of cards of positivity and and you know what i mean just to be joyful and happy more than you know really heavily religious but possibly with a little bit of a religious sort of theme on some of them so that's another stamp set there just with some as i say i won't be able to use all of these but just some happy sort of you know sentiments again with that they're just joyful little sort of sayings I've also got some printed um, words just like just like little word labels of different words um, from a book that I've got I've got you know there's sort of like obviously like a religious section a baptism section even adoption they have some really nice phrases that, that are usable sort of when it comes to children and having children and things like that this is a really nice stamp set i think this was the only one i managed to find on i think it was amazon so that they're sort of positive but you know it's got like i believe in you god has your back yes you can believe in yourself be brave tomorrow is a new day you will rise above dream big God's got this, God is bigger, think positive, don't give up, you inspire me, hope, fight, be strong, you can do it, shine on, be courageous, all that that sort of thing, you know, just sort of great positive. And that one is a little bit more religious. I think I got this in the UK as well, I can't remember where, it was online somewhere. As a, I'm not sure that I'll use all of them, but maybe some of them, like the prey is quite nice. Like that as well worry ends when faith begins but i say this is just so totally out of my comfort zone i've never like made anything like this before i managed to find this um i think it was on amazon and it's faith mini stickers and you probably wouldn't use them on their own but you could make like a little clusters and do toppers oops oh dear i'm never never any good at holding things up so they're all like stickers. Again, there's some nice little sayings on there. I 
I mean, they're not particularly religious. They're just sort of happy, happy little things that you can make little, you know, clusters with. Again, they're a little bit more religious, but not too religious. I like the way they're very bright, very happy, just very positive. It just goes on, really. There's a few words down there. They're similar sort of size to the ones I've got that I've cut out of a book. Sorry, that I photocopied and cut out. They're probably a little bit harder to use than those, but they could be used on anything, really. And then there's a lovely page there of words that can be used. And they, they're nice. I think they're more maybe for journaling. But there's certainly, I think I only paid like about three pounds something for that so there's certainly a lot that can be used i'm just going to try no don't like that with my light on yeah there's certainly lots that i can i can use in there but you know it's a really good price that was this is just a piece of fabric that i found uh where was i in wales i think um i found a lovely fabric shop and i just picked that up then I did manage to pick up a few dies on AliExpress. Um, again, nothing overly much, but I, how lovely is this? Let's get that piece of paper again. That's more of a Christmas one though. You've got your big cross and you've got the nativity, if you can see the nativity scene there at the top and the angel and the star looking down. It's quite big as well. That's This is an A5 envelope that I'm holding. So that, that's more for Christmas, but how lovely is that? And I said the dies were quite inexpensive as well. And I might even put die cut and sell some because there was just nobody selling anything like this. Just go through some of them. That's a candle one. That, that, that'd be nice for Christmas, really, you know, for any time, really. There's a little praying girl. There's a little praying boy somewhere. Oh, there he is. Blessed. It's got some nice um, crosses. Shine. Another cross there. Some of these will be too big because I only do small cards. I only do, is it four by four? I've got white, I've got faith, I've got white and cream cards. That Bible's lovely. I was I was cutting lovely size as well. I was cutting some of those out the other day. I'll show you those in a minute. That's a nice plain cross. That's quite a nice one as well. That's quite a big one. Fits fits like fully in my hand. But all like greenery and leaves around it. It's a dove. Is the is it wheat? I don't know. I see I wouldn't use that because I don't actually know what that is. A cross in a circle probably symbolises something and I've got no idea what it is. Again, this one. I don't know what that is. As I say, I'm not religious, so I don't I'd have to look up and see what that is. Smaller dove. The word hope. Another dove. That's a nice cross. I think that's a lovely one. That'd be a nice size for my cards as well. And the little like starburst. I think that's lovely. Love. It's a little cross there. And that one's nice, God. So, as I say, I've just got a few, and I think they will be nice to to cut. So that's what I've got. Um, that was the Bible die. So I was playing around with that, and I've just got some. Um, uh, it's a Bible paper. Some. Uh, what do you call it? Music, um, some like religious, religious-ish text. Then I've just pulled out a few bits that I think I can use. I need to pull out more, and also some like flowers or something to actually decorate on the cards that are flat. Literally just been and you know found out what I can. So that's those. So the whole purpose of me coming on is to show you these papers that I did. I wanted, I thought I can use these as backgrounds, just um, like little bits of them. Not use obviously a whole big area, but just little areas on the on the 
on the card so I used all bright colours and they're just so textured but I think I do mine different watching some videos I think I do mine a bit different to other people because I'll just go through as I'm talking because I don't clean my brayer off between layers I don't let it dry because it's practically dry straight away and I I don't um, like clean my brayer on paper ever um, and when I put a stencil on I put a layer of paint on the top and take a print so what I do is I just keep taking prints in different colours and different yeah and I just so my jelly plate is like that big in the square as you can sort of see but I fill the rest of the paper with bits of prints just to get you know as much coverage as I can I, this stencil I used a lot that's the word art backwards <laughs> and you, it is very faint but it is the right way around that I love that I, I will use that on a different card because I'd like to use that in its entirety that's one of my favorites because the colors on it it's not really picking it up it just looks blue but the colour on that is absolutely gorgeous. You've got art again. And it didn't obviously pick up the top layer because it had masked it off. I, I just love these papers. There was a couple that... I, this was one of them. But it's, it's still usable. That I, I was coming to... Like when I wanted to stop. Because I was starting to ache. I'd literally been sat there for about three hours doing these. Um, and they didn't really get finished that's not too bad I've got a dye that a, a stencil that said live love laugh but it didn't fully come out but it's still really nice it's a bit more solid okay that was say this was one that was coming towards the end as was this that's why there's not a lot on it but again still very usable that's a nice stencil Nice colour combos. We've got a bit of, bit of pearl paint there. Lovely. Oh, it's, a bit, it's a bit glary, isn't it? Lovely butterfly there. You see, you probably can't tell on the video, but there's like so much texture and so much sort of patterning within the papers. Butterfly there. Clock. There's some pearl going on there within the paint. That's a nice one with the, is it dandelion or whatever it is. Lots of texture going on there. That's a, it's a grid stencil I've got there. I've used that quite a few times. There's a little bit of pearlescent in there. And although that looks just a splodge of orange, there's actually flowers and um, different things in that. That's a bit more plain. That's the first one I did, but I liked it. So I didn't, I didn't go over it. Another butterfly there, if you, can, if you can see. Oop, two here. Lots of pearl paint going on there. It's quite a thick one, actually. This feels really heavy. There must be lots and lots of layers on this side. Yeah, it kept going. It kept ending up being too dark, so I just wanted something light on the top in the end. That's a nice one. The colours in that are really nice. It's the reds and a bit of green and that yellow. I don't know what that yellow is. I think it's like a gold. And whenever I've used that, it just looked really nice. That's not overly interesting, but it is, if you know what I mean. Totally usable. Nice to have something a bit plainer. What's there? That's just a single print. Um, there's the other half of that somewhere. I think, oh yeah, I think it was the grid that you saw before. <laughs> it's like the positive and the negative. You've got the argyle print there, a bit of a flower. I haven't got many flowery um, stencils actually, as I found out when I was doing this. Oh, so shadowy now. The dandelions in there, that's quite pearlescent. I don't know 
if this is how you're supposed to do jelly prints but it's how i like to do them and i just love how they come out some more flower there and that pattern again had fun washing all the stencils I had like 15 stencils to wash afterwards that, that pattern again some sort of wording in there i can't read it it's like a script don't even know if it makes sense there is actually that's actually upside down because it is actually a little butterfly in the middle there there's a big butterfly there and another one of those dandelions there that looks nice that'd be a nice bit to use that's not very exciting it's that grid again I do like that stencil so you only need i mean i say i'm making four by four cards so you only need a tiny little bit for backgrounds but i know i'm going to have trouble cutting these off i'm going to be like no <laughs> A little bit it's so just so textured and they look so textured as well i used a dot stencil then i didn't actually like it overly much but i did use it a couple of times i put that one down backwards so i got an art the right way around <coughs> again i'll probably use that for something else Oh, excuse me, I swallowed funny. Some more pearlescent dots. Some feathers there, feather stencil in there. Oh, I love this combination. It was, I think it was blue, pink and yellow. It's really nice. Some more feathers there. Probably all bored by now and switched off. But yeah, please let me know how you, how you do jelly prints through stencils if, if I'm doing it completely wrong. Or, you know, does it matter? Because I love how they come out. Or, but any tips <laughs> that are, I say I'll probably use that on something else as well. Nice on an ATC or something like that. Some more feathers. Oh, this is a nice one. It got a total perfect positive and negative of that, like, dandelion stencil. Positive and negative. Looks so, I don't know if you can see that very well absolutely perfect i almost don't want to cut that up because i love it i want to sort of keep that hole <laughs> so i might not be using that one love that bit there just love the colors no it's really sad but things like this just i just love just splodges of color it's not even you know very interesting but i love it i could just stare at these all day and this is the last one you'll be glad to know there's a butterfly there it's more texture there quite a nice one as well butterfly there almost like a honeycomb there i just love that color so yeah so that's what i as i say that's what i plan to do i'm going down on wednesday my dad's going to take me down because my husband's had a bad few weeks with his leg he's back under the hospital under the plastic surgeons following his accident seven years ago his wounds broken down after all this time so um, he's having it dressed every day um, at the surgery with a nurse and I do it at the weekends and sometimes on a Thursday if she's fully booked because they do half day. Um, but we've got all um, appointments in place for when I'm away for the weekend as well. He's got a Saturday appointment in the community and Sunday he'll leave because um, it'd be interesting to see how he goes sort of just over 24 hours and if he is really bad if he really really does need a, a dressings change he can go to the local walk-in centre and there is nurses there on a Saturday that will do it so but he's going to try and leave it and see what happens um I mean it was awful but it has got a lot better and now it's dried out it's just starting to heal so I don't feel so bad leaving him because it was touch and go whether I was going to be able to go um which would have been a bit awkward because I don't know what would have happened with Adam's pets, but um, yeah, he's going to, where's he going to? Um, oh my goodness, I forgot the name of the place. Oh, anyway, he'll come to me in a minute. He's going for the um, for the Formula One Grand Prix. Um, he loves it, so he's going with a friend. 
so yes that's me so have a good weekend everyone and stay safe because covid's on the rise again isn't it a lot of cases and people are getting quite ill around here um yeah it's getting a bit a bit bad again so all stay safe be careful speak soon bye